Tina here and I want to start a new journal and I always wanted to do a round one but as I don't have a paper cutter who does circles I was kind of hesitant to have to do it by hand but I found these really simple um, round well what are they I don't know they're not really journals yet but little pads of round strong cardboard uh, sets I guess I got two of them they hold five of these circles each. And so I'm thinking of either making one journal with 10 pages or maybe two or five each, not sure yet. Um, my idea is to make a second hole here and either use um, the same rings and therefore recreate a bit of a spine or if there's not enough room um, for the pages to turn with these smaller rings, I have bigger ones I could use. So that's my idea. Now for starters, I'm going to um, cover these with some craft paper. So at this point, I started speeding things up a bit and switched to voiceover. It was just getting a bit too long winded. So because these circles are six by six inches, it was easy to cut my craft paper just like this with a big piece for embellishments and the two squares to cover the circles. I'm using simple school glue. I like to mix it with a tiny bit of water in a jar so I can get my brush in there. I cut out uh, two squares of 10 different designs and now all I have to do is line it up, use my credit card to smooth it out and get it on those little circles. Now when they're dry I will use my exacto knife to cut off the edges. Quite easy because um, cardboard guides it. And here they're all done. I'm planning to use this book to keep a small collection of ephemera in. I received many cute little things through swaps and happy mail, so I need a nice place for it. And here I'm using my nail file to go around it on both sides, and it makes a nice smooth finish. Now I need to reopen the old hole, which is easy to find, and I just use my exacto knife to poke it. And because I don't like to measure much, this little piece of cardboard is helping me to position the second hole. And my trusty crocodile is punching the holes for me. Um, later on, when I constructed the tugs and pockets, I had to use it a few more times to reopen holes. So now I'm using my archival ink to blacken the edges. And I'm putting it all together just to have a look what it looks like. But when I actually work in it, I did so loose leaf and you will see the results in just a moment. So here we are back to live coverage. And as you can see, uh, this journal turned out pretty chunky, but there's still room for more uh, collectibles in there. I added the biggest rings I had for the binding. I also added uh, grommets or eyelids. Uh, What's the difference? I don't know. I think they're the same thing. I also added, added one here for the closure with just a simple piece of ribbon. Now, um, most pages are very self-explanatory and not that much different to many other journals we've seen before. The only difference is, of course, the shape of the pages. And so I wanted to make sure to make a lot of circular or half circle type pockets and tuck spots. And to make it easier for me, I made myself a little template. So that way, every time I needed the size, I didn't have to use an original and maybe get pencil mark on it. So that was definitely helpful. So let's see what it looks like. Now, every time I used the ephemera piece for a tuck spot or a pocket, I made sure to back it with either thin cardboard or some leftover craft paper to make it a bit sturdier. So this one for now holds just a couple little tags. Now here I had a chipboard tag. Now this is very sturdy all on its own, but I did embellish it some. I also added some liquid glitter, fasten it with a paper brad, little fiber here. And yeah, it swings all the way out and right now holds a couple of little tags. This is a little linen sticker. And you see all throughout some printer poles, and they were sent to me too and really helped me to decorate the background. 
So here on the next page, again, there are more printables, and I added this little pull-out. These are old-fashioned advertisements from a newspaper, and they're kind of fun to read. I also embellished the backside a little bit, added a little tag, again with the paper bread. Another one here, they are both images of old-fashioned typewriters. Yeah, and then I de uh, decided to make one of these. And I don't even know what you call it, turn around looking at pictures kind of a thingy. It was pretty simple. I basically just made a circle smaller than my book, so it wouldn't interfere with my rings. Cut a little window out, and then just added underneath it on my board whatever images I wanted uh, to be there. And he also added some glitter paint. Now, all the embellishments, even those little tiny branches, uh, were sent to me. And they really helped me to decorate everything. And yeah, it was a lot of fun to use up all the little tidbits. This is just a little flower taken from a ribbon. And here on the next page, I made a tiny little door, some music paper, a pretty little teapot, little lace with a tiny tag. This one has a dress form on it, and so does this printable, and there's an old-fashioned sewing machine. And this is a little very glossy 3D little dress form as well. And then on this side, it's a fairly big pocket. It will have lots of room for more. And I made this one from an old greeting card someone sent me. It came in two parts, you know, it opened like this, and I used the other part later on as well. This is a button with the Eiffel Tower on it. It's kind of really cute illustration there. And then I added a little envelope. And this is all like mail related. This says postcard on it, and there's some postal images on this one. All right, let's see what else is there. These are some really pretty tags I got. Another little one with a bird cage. And I created these two pockets very simply just by using uh, some craft paper, which I doubled. By the way, every time I use craft paper to make pockets or tag spot, I also doubled it to make it stronger. And then first I just uh, glued down the top pocket and then the bottom pocket. Very simple. Now every time things would come all the way to the edge, I continued to use my little nail file to kind of uh, smooth it all out and make it fit nicely. And of course, then I also took my archival ink to put the black back at the edge. And I think it just made it look nicer that way. So they are in here for now. Next page, I made a little belly band. It's just a little piece of corrugated cardboard. I'm cardboard. I embellished it. A few little flowers and some little jam. I added actually a butterfly underneath it, but you can't see it so well. So, oh well. And there's another butterfly right there. And it holds two pretty little ephemera pieces for now. And here I made a bigger door. This is made obviously from a whole circle, which I split in half. I gave a fold on each side so I could glue it down and make a hinge so it would open like a door. But before I glued this down, I also made a half circle pocket. Very simple, just, you know, glued around the edges. And there's room for a couple of little ephemera pieces. And now for the closure, I used, uh, let's see, one of these. I had a few of these uh, round tags, and I added a little cutout and also these pretty uh, dragonflies. There's one on the cover and one on the inside there. So that is this page. And here I made a very simple corner pocket, one of the few square things in here. Uh, these are made out of a square piece of paper. Just make sure that the little spine on this side, this is a fold, but this is the open side, make sure you it's closed really well. I used a 
piece of doily and just wrapped it around and closed it shut. So it holds a couple of little printouts. I add a little tassel here. This is a chipboard piece. And these pieces are some of those old German die cuts. I have just a few more left. And then on this side, I added this little circle here. I think it came from a sticker with a paper brad to hold this flap closed because I created a double page here just by adding an extra piece of round paper. I created this longer spread. Um, this was actually a business card, but I thought the shape was cool. I sprayed it with a little bit of, uh, what is it called? Oh, what is it called? I can't remember. Glimmer mist, right. And this is also one of those, these are both some of those German uh, die cuts. And then I created a very small pocket here. Well, it's actually, yeah, a tuck spot uh, with a little tag. And this is just a piece of a circle. You know, I just measured it and cut a piece like this. I used my edge cutter to make it look a little more fancy. And this will keep it closed. Here I also added a doily. There's a little frame and again printables. Because without this, every time I would turn the page, this would flip open. So that works quite nicely. So here is another page. It's quite a big pocket. Right now it has just this one little card in it. And there's a little tuck spot on this side as well. And I decorated it too. This is made very simple. Oops. From just a piece of uh, craft paper. I show you I folded it not half, maybe two thirds like this. Then folded it back. And all I had to do is glue down the flap, glue down the edges here. And then of course, glue the whole thing just around the edge of the circle and it created this two pockets. And again, here too, I use this to smooth it all out. Okay, the next one, this um, is a half a piece of the other side of that round greeting card. It was already very sturdy, so all I had to do is add some craft paper. It holds a pretty little tag. I put some lace, and that's again one of those German die cuts. And here I um, made another belly band. Well, actually, belly bands should be this way, right? So I don't know what you call these ones. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this was a piece of chipboard again, and it came with these little slits. Now, if you do not have a piece like that, it would be easy to make. I did embellish it. I added all these things. Oops, sorry, that was my phone making a funny noise. And, um, well, it holds a little card here. All right. And on the other side, I added a nearly half circular um, little pocket. I brought it up to the little piece of, what is it, trim, I guess. And it has a lot of room. So right now it just has one little card. And on this side, another piece of chipboard. I added this with a paper brad. It holds this circle closed. And there's a little journaling spot. This was just some really pretty printout. And of course, I backed it with some craft paper to make it more sturdy. And this holds it closed. So there it is. And here again, a piece of chipboard. I glued down just this big part. I left the rest open so I can slide whatever picture I might like there in there. This is kind of a fancy 3D sticker of an old style boot and an old style shoe here. A little art tile someone sent me. And then on the last page, I used again these little ta round tags I had to hide a little pretty rose and gear type sticker. I added some real gears up here, a little more embellishment. And yeah, and that's the end of the book. I left the back pretty simple. This was a lot of fun. I must say it was a little tedious, but it was a lot of fun to use all my ephemera pieces up. 
and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Bye-bye for now.